Hi guys, hope everybody's doing really well and staying safe. Um, I've been on eBay buying a few bits and bobs because I can't help myself. Um, and the uh, first thing I bought tool-wise was moi. And it's this little rigid wrench. Um, pattern number. Um, and this one is this one dates from 1937 to 1948. And I know that because I watched a really fantastic video by John Fix. Um, and he has got um, the earlier version of this without the patent number. So it says patent painted, uh, patent pending, shall I say. Um, so the first ones, the really early examples, don't have this small uh, thing at the back. And this is not free. And then the next one has this little bit and it has patent pending. And then the next early one is this one. And then the later ones have a, a line through the um, through the knurling on the, on the thumb screw. But yeah, so it says on it six inch, but the person who sold it described it as a five and a half inch. And it's actually a fraction under five and a half inch. So it's, it's got on there six for a six inch, but it's actually just under five, it's about five and a quarter almost. Yeah, five and a half inch. So it's it's actually a six inch um, little wrench, and I've not got um, one that small. I've obviously I've recently um, just done a rigid E one ten, and you can see this is not particularly a big wrench, and you can see this is really its little brother. So I couldn't resist that. So I was on auction. I won it on auction. Um, and I think it was a fair price, really, considering how old it is. And I've never seen a five and a half inch one, not an old one anyway. Um, and it it's, runs pretty smoothly. Now, this has never had paint on it originally. This has always come unpainted, the five and a half. Um, John Fix said that in his interview. But there it's got measurements in, say, three quarter, half inch, three eighths, quarter inch. So that's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah. And I think that says they're oil hardened. So, yeah, pretty cool little um, little wrench there. Looking forward to giving that a polish. So I won it on bids for £10.50 plus £2.50 postage. And, and it's, it's straight. It seems to have a, a fraction of a bend going that way. But, and it's had a, if someone's hit it with a hammer there, they're pretty deep. But other than that, it seems to be in, considering it's sort of, you know... 75 years old i think it's looking fantastic so thanks again to john fix for his amazing video so all the research i'll go over a little bit more detail of obviously when i do a refurbishment and um, the next thing i purchased was this this um set of wrenches and it was two wrenches this auto wrench um which looks to be about nine inch auto wrench um, not sure who it's by, Jembo, Jem, Jembo or something, Jembro, what does that say there, made in, is it England, Britain, made in Britain, something like that, British made, number 33, which is nothing special, and if it was on its own, I wouldn't have bid on the lot, but um, what came with it was this, um, Baco 91, now, I nearly didn't buy it because it's got a heck of a chunk out of the jaw, if you look. Um, so it's going to have to lose quite a lot of the jaw or reprofile it in some way. It's going to have to lose some of that jaw, some of that jaw really, to profile it. But and it's quite heavily pitted as well. So this needs to go in the evaporust. Um, but yeah, I couldn't resist it. And the other one came out so nice um, that I wanted his bigger brother. Now, obviously this wrench is a really early wrench. You know, it was designed in 1888. So I obviously I thought, and the other, the other, the other downside to this one is that's bent, but that should be a reasonably easy fix, putting it in the vise and bending it back. But yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, um, so yeah. Um, that I think that will clean up nice, but it's going to be a lot of work. I mean, if you can see that the grind there, you know, it's not great. But at least now you've got a preview of what it looked like before. 
I know I'll get on that. I'm not sure what that is. So yeah, so that that lot was a lot together, which was a shame really because I don't really want that one. Um, but um, that the, I ended up winning it for nine pounds ninety nine, which was the starting bid, and then four pounds seventy five postage. So sort of fifteen pounds, call it, and then I had to pay. So it's like sort of eighteen dollars, which I think is a bargain, and I'm really pleased because it'll uh, make out the set with the um, other other uh, one I've got. So yeah, so that's the uh, tool all guys. Just a couple of uh, quite cool tools there to have a look at and a, and a couple more things to have a, have a polish on, which is always great. Um, I appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for uh, um, getting this far in the video and don't forget to obviously leave a comment. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.